Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest show on earth, NBT Croft. Hey guys, my name is Escor, and today I have something really, really cool for you, and that is um, the intro text trader, um, or also typewriter. Um, and yeah, I called it intro text trader because um, that's how I've done my intro, and that's also the reason why there is a podium so because my um, name has nine letters so the, the name of my channel has nine letters and the podium is exactly in the center and so this is also limited to nine letters right now but you just have to change one command block and you can type infinitely till the end of the world and that's pretty cool so it's a fully functioning typewriter and yeah so down here are the letters and that one is a space so nbt space croft and I'm going to enter a new word and show you how this works. So first of all, let's just reset the output and that will delete the screen. And down here, you will see a stone. Now if I switch um, my item slot and then to the last item slot, you will see there will be a redstone block and that will make falling sand appear right here. And yeah, that's how the text is created because the redstone block will then empower this line and also these command blocks. Now when I switch back, and um, reset the output um, then the redstone block will disappear and this will be cleaned again and then when I use my last item slot um, yeah the text will fall and I can teleport myself to the perfect spot that looks pretty cool <laughs> and yeah and um, for the perfect um, video so if you want to have this to um, make the perfect um, intro for your Minecraft channel um, you just enter a new word, for example, um, the word A, B, space, and C. And yeah, then you will see down here are the letters. And now I can teleport myself to the perfect spot. Press F1 to get rid of the um, interface. And yeah, then I'm going to press 9 to select the last uh, item slot and that will make a redstone block appear and the letters fall and yeah it's cool and I'm going to show you how I built this dude the other video of how I built this yeah yeah okay that's the right video <laughs> um, um, what I have done is um, created some lag with my video pause <laughs> um, basically down here is a line of barrier blocks so these blocks can stop mid-air and also um, I use falling sand barrier and cobblestone blocks and um, I have recreated the letters um, with um, control and the mid mouse key um, just these two command blocks which are um, a summon falling sand on the screen so these are absolute coordinates and relative coordinates somewhere in the air um, with the tile ID of 4, which is cobblestone, and right here it has a tile ID of 166, um, which is a barrier block. And yeah, then I recreated all letters, and also the space, which has no command blocks, um, because you don't need command blocks, <laughs> because it's a space. Um, only the redstone line and the repeater line, so um, the redstone block can power the other letters. And yeah. Then I'm testing for um, the buttons pressed, so to reset it, um, the output, I'm testing if the stone button is pressed, um, and then I'm going to fill that with air and set a stone block right here. And yeah, that resets the output, and to reset the word, I'm also testing for a button, and after that I'm killing a widow skull, um, because, okay, no, let me show you this first. Um, I'm killing a widow skull, and after that, I'm filling this with air, and then I'm filling the letters down here with air. And after that, I'm summoning a widow skull on a specific location, and after that, I'm setting block stone to this location again. And where I summon the widow skull is right here, um, inside this block, and yeah, um, that is because okay now let me show you the other things first um, right here it tests for the selected item slot if it is 8 which is this one right here it um, this comparator will be powered and then set the redstone block um, to this location 
and yeah, so the falling sand appears to fall. And um, right here, I'm testing for uh, another button, and if this button is pressed, I will be teleported to the podium. Um, where the podium obviously is just um, the perfect spot for me because my name has nine letters. Um, but it's still pretty cool and you can easily change that. And yeah. Um, there are the letters left. And um, so it tests if the letters used is between 0 and 8. So um, this is my only scoreboard objective. And if it is between 0 and 8, this command block will be triggered, which then um, sets this output to 0 again. So there's only a pulse and not a constant um, power. And this command block right here will teleport all players from this location to this location. And yeah, so now the letters are powered and we will get to the Wither Skull soon. <laughs> and this will uh, here will um, test for the button that is linked to the letter. So for example, this is the um, button below the sign A. And if the button is pressed, it will then add one to global letters used. So this is limited to um, nine letters right now. Um, and you just have to change that command block to, or remove that command block, um, this one, to have it infinitely. And yeah, um, after that, um, so there's one comparator and two repeaters. After that, it will then execute at the Widow Skull's location relative coordinates, which are not used, the clone command, and so for the letter A, or okay, I'm not going to fly to letter A, but it's like this, so from this block right here to this block right here. Um, and it will clone that. Um, so that is these two from this location to this location to relative coordinates. And because um, the widow skull is right there, um, and I use the widow skull in the execute command, it will then clone um, the letter to the widow skull's location. And after that, of course, I have to teleport the widow skull and the width of one letter. Um, into the set direction because that is the direction of the screen. And yeah, so you can see it has one, two, three, four, five, six um, blocks. And if I teleport the Widow Skull six into this direction because it starts with here, the Widow Skull will then be there. And yeah, the next letter can be um, typed in, and it's pretty cool. Um, so right now um, I'm using cobblestone, but um, as I said, um, this is the tile ID right here, and it would be very easy, I think, to create a filter um, to use another a block. So, for example, grass blocks. Just change the tile ID. Um, maybe I will do one, um, but I like the cobblestone. And yeah. Um, also, um, if you do not want the falling sand to drop, I wanted that because it's a nice effect. And if you just want a typewriter, you do not need all these command blocks. Um, you basically just have to create the letters like this, so vertical letters um, somewhere here, and then just one command block and clone them on the location and teleport the widow skull to the right. And yeah, that's about it. Um, it's easy as that for a typewriter um, without falling sand and instant blocks. Um, you can also use play sound, but um, use your imagination. Um, this is almost perfectly done. Um, you do not have to change much, just um, copy the letters from there to there and then clone them over here and yeah very easy concept for a typewriter and very nice concept for my intro thanks for watching guys and have a nice day